In this video, we're going to focus on combination plays. This is when a quick attacker and an outside hitter work together to create holes in the block. To run effective combination plays, you must first pass the ball to the net, and then second, both hitters must have good timing with the setter. First, let's focus on the outside attacker and the timing that we have for our combination play. You, what you'll see is a four-step approach, and when the ball is in the setter's hands, I'm going to back this up, you will see where the hitter is on their left foot. And then they'll take two steps to the ball. So it's right, left, right, left, and when the ball's in the setter's hands, as you see here, the hitter is on their second step or left foot. And then it's last two steps get them to the point of attack. Now, a point of attack can be anywhere along the net. So as you can see in these clips, the hitter is moving effectively along the net, working in front and behind the setter to put a lot of pressure on the block, but the timing is the same in terms of ball in the setter's hands, the hitter's on their left foot, and then they move quickly to the point of attack, hopefully before the middle blocker can get there and form an effective block. So using this footwork, the hitters can work from in front of the setter to behind the setter like you see here, or they can equally go from behind the setter as you see here on their left foot, and they come back in front of the setter. So this creates a lot of pressure on the block to both track the hitter and then get there and form a good block before the, the ball is attacked. And we use this timing and footwork whether we're going off one foot or two feet. So now for the combination or outside hitter to be effective, you need to have a good quick attack. So let's focus on that right now. And we'll see as the, the timing is a little bit different in terms of when the ball's in the setter's hands, the hitter is leaving the ground and attempting to hit the ball before the middle blocker can get in the air. So the timing for the quick attacker is in the air with the set, and the timing for the combination hitter is they're on their second step or left foot when the ball is set. And you'll be able to see that here in terms of the quick attacker is in the air and the combination attacker is on their left foot. And then the setter, on a good pass, can set either the quick attacker or they can set the combination hitter. So what we'll see now is as the, the, the players start working together, as we'll see the quick attacker is, in, is getting ready to jump and is getting ready to hit quickly while the combination hitter has their weight on their left foot and it will drive effectively to the ball as you can see. So both hitters have to create proper timing with the setter. That is their job. Then the setter can set either the quick attacker, the combination, or can push the ball to an outside attacker. So this puts a lot of stress on the block. If you pass it to the net and if the timing is good, the combination play is a great offensive weapon.